what we are currently developing is a Unity-based standalone platform that can host a network of digital twins from around the world. In our case, a digital twin is a, a really detailed, rich, interactive, three-dimensional copy, if you like, of a venue or gallery. We then put a capture system on a stage, just like we've got behind me, that uses a, an array of cameras to create a volumetric stream from that stage and beams it into the digital twin. You will be able to access the bands and the DJs and the artists that we book, no matter where you are in the world. I think because of all of our experience in creating real life spaces, that's what's made Lost Horizon really resonate with people. They can understand it if you can be in a physical space and then see the virtual space and see the virtual attendees to any show, then something clicks with people and it's fascinating. I think it could go a really long way. An audience can come into that digital twin as an avatar and meet each other and dance and share experiences together socially and watch live performance and music. And in that way, we intend to create a new level of accessibility in a social way to real world culture, but you know, utilising brand new digital tech. The funding that we've received for Lost Horizon has been absolutely crucial to everything that we're trying to do. The dream is to build a network of digital twins where we take beautiful venues and galleries that are the best at what they do. Just those perfect spaces like a club in Ibiza, places that people really want to go and can't necessarily access, and cultures that cut across global audiences. We want this experience to be nourishing and fun and feel safe and for people to feel like they can come and be involved and experiment with us on the journey that we're on. What we want to create is a new content delivery pipeline and a new kind of economic opportunity for the live sector. And uh, it's an exciting moment for us. <laughs> <laughs>